What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Wednesday morning to you and welcome to this midweek devotion here to encourage you and get you through your week. Since we are talking about prayer and talking with God on Sunday morning, and we've been looking at the greatest prayer ever given to mankind, the Lord's Prayer. Uh, this past week, we broke down the first half. We're about to get into the second half. It's been good. But I thought I would give you something a little bit extra even to add or to think about adding to your prayers. Because not only do we have the Lord's Prayer, but even throughout the biblical stories, we have these great prayers that have been handed down to us. And I thought it'd be fun to share a few with you. And today is an incredible one. It's found in 1 Kings chapter 3. It says that the Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream. And God said, ask for whatever you want me to give you. And so Solomon took his time, but replied and said these great words. He goes, your servant is here among the people that you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? And the Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for this. One of the things I want you to add to your prayer life is this, just like Solomon did. Solomon was given kind of a blank check and God said, here. God goes on later to say, hey, I'm so proud of you because I know men's hearts. Most of the people would have said, hey, give me wealth, give me fame, give me power, destroy my enemies. And he didn't ask for any of that. He asked simply, God, give me wisdom and understanding. Give me a discerning heart. And so I think that's the thing that we want to add to our prayers, that God help me to be a wise and understanding person. Can I get an amen to that? Church, I love you so much. May you add that to your prayer life today. God bless you. I'll see you soon.